Hello friends, welcome to my channel Technical Arquen, myself Arnab Kundu. Today I will discuss another topic which is diamond chip. Okay, actually diamond chip is one of the carbon chip and is used as an electronic circuit. Okay, silicon chip is also used in electronic circuit but there are lots of advantageous part is there for diamond chip is concerned. Okay. The major component using carbon is carbon nanotube and this is actually used within this diamond chip. Okay, so I will discuss precisely today about the topic diamond chip. So go to the computer screen. So friends, today I will discuss the topic diamond chip. Okay. So at first we should know what is diamond chip. Diamond chip or carbon chip is an electronic chip manufactured on a diamond structural carbon wafer. Okay. It can be also defined as the electronic component manufactured using carbon as the wafer. Okay. The major component using carbon is carbon nanotube also known as CNT. Okay. Carbon nanotube is a nano dimensional made by using carbon. Okay. It has many unique properties, right? Electronics without silicon is impossible, but it will come true with the evolution of diamond or carbon chip, right? Manufacturing using electronic chips has numerous drawbacks when it is used in electronic applications due to bulk in size, slow operating speed, etc. Right? Industrialists plan to build a diamond chip that can resist in temperatures of 500 degree centigrade associated to only about 150 degree centigrade for silicon chips. Okay. Currently, we are using silicon for the manufacturing of electronic chips. It has many drawbacks when it is used in power electronic applications such as majority in size, slow working alacrity, etc. Right? Carbon, silicon and germanium are belonging to the similar cluster in the episodic table. Right? A crystalline diamond flame that would fabricate more resilient semiconductor chips than those made from silicon. Generally, synthetic diamonds have proved a poor semiconduct material. Diamond can also stand firm voltages up to around 200 volts compared to around 20 volts for a silicon chip right now we talk about some information about carbon nanotubes downfall the graphene sheet into a tube like structure produces carbon nanotubes okay it is a nano size cylinder of carbon atoms right they are through of one or a number of concentric walls in which carbon atoms are pre-arranged in hexagonal pattern having a less than one nanometer diameter right in 1991 sumio ijima is a japanese physicist discovered carbon nanotubes okay now we talk about some advantages of diamond chip first advantage is smaller components are possible as the dimension of the carbon atom is little compared with that of silicon atom, it is probably to etch very lesser lines through diamond structural carbon, right? Number two, it works at higher temperature. Diamond is very powerful bonded textile, okay? It can endure advanced temperatures compared with that of silicon. Diamond chip can occupation well in these eminent high temperatures okay diamond is very good conductor of heat number three faster than silicon chip carbon chip works faster than silicon chip the mobility of the electrons within the doped diamond structural carbon is higher than 
that of in the silicon organization right and number four larger power handling capacity silicon has many drawbacks such as bulk in size slow operating speed smaller amount efficiency lower band gap at very high voltages silicon structure will collapse but carbon chip has larger power handling capacity than silicon right now we talk about some disadvantages of diamond chip as expected the diamond chip is costlier than the silicon chip doping process is very hard to perform due to the diamond structure right the structure of carbon is non conducting in nature right so we have to perform the doping method to fulfill our requirement right we use nitrogen as the n type doping agent and boron as p type doping agent they are made of several concentric walls arranged in hexagonal pattern right however as compared to that of silicon as it is very tough to diffuse due to strong attraction of diamond atoms right it is assumed that diamond chip can transit power at rate of 100 gigahertz right now we talk about some application of carbon nanotubes right some of the essential applications of carbon nanotubes are like information and communications materials and manufacturing biomedia energy and environmental transportation and also consumer goods right now at last we should conclude the topic diamond chip carbon is more appreciated than silicon right by means of carbon as the manufacturing material we can accomplish smaller faster and stronger chips okay therefore diamond chip substitutes the need of silicon in every aspects in future generation and we can get fast small electronic devices right thus diamond chip replaces the need of silicon in every aspect in future generations right i hope you have understood today's topic and today's topic was diamond chip right i hope that you have understood today's topic for more videos keep watching my channel technical arquen thank you and bye bye